Morning everyone. Um, I'm about to show you a video of a paintball I did a couple of days ago and I have got really mixed feelings about it. I really don't know how I feel about the end result. So the plan was for a Dutch pour, a slightly different type of Dutch pour, um, but it just went really wrong. I, I hated it. I really didn't like it. I almost scraped this painting on so many occasions throughout this that, that you'll see. Um, but I just kept adding to it and doing more and just actually enjoying the process of adding the paint to the canvas and enjoying it and just seeing what happens. So um, I learned quite a lot from this. So the end result of this painting is nothing like I intended at the beginning. As I said, I was going to scrape it several times. Um, I wasn't going to upload this video. I thought, I don't want to show people this. This is awful. But actually, I'm actually quite happy with the result. And I thought I'd, it would be quite interesting to try and show you the process that I went through to get to this painting. So here it is. I've uploaded it. Um, let me know what you think. This isn't my normal work. This isn't my normal type of um, acrylic pour. But I thought let, let, let's just upload it anyway to see what you think, because it was real. It happened. Um, and I've learned from it. So maybe, you know, you might pick up something that you, you like, you don't like from what I've done, and that will help you too. Um, so I've included the introduction that I filmed prior to painting it. So it will be as now a normal video, but I just wanted to warn you, it's not what I intended at all. Um, so enjoy the video. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I've had an idea. I'm really into my Dutch pours at the moment. Um, Flood Flower Troll for the design colours and UK Flower Troll Oa Troll for the base colours. Um, this is one I did quite recently, um, which I am really, really happy with. I absolutely love it, but I had the idea what would happen if these big white negative space areas, what would happen if I put a white base down, but also introduced just a hint of colour going through it so that there's more interest in these areas. I don't want too much because obviously the main feature would be these, these design bits, but just something subtle like uh, white, grey, silvers, golds, really subtle colours. So I'm going to have a play around. Um, I'm going to put a base down, just adding a few extra bits just to see what will happen. I'm really not sure um, if I like it or not, but... I won't know unless I try. So let me show you the colours I'm using. So I have totally, totally fallen in love with this colour scheme. The idea of greens and purples, I just, I'm loving at the moment. Um, I found two colours, new colours to me, which working really well. I love this Amsterdam Thalo green. It's just such a deep, Oh, beautiful green and the Amsterdam permanent blue violet absolutely stunning color so what I decided is to do a painting in those two colors they're obviously very dark so I've got um, a lighter green Pebio iridescent green yellow and then a lighter violet color which is a Pebio oriental violet I've got a little bit of gold to, to uh, break it up a little bit um, the Amsterdam pearl violet Amsterdam white and then maybe the studio Pebio studio acrylic silver I am not fully decided yet not sure about that one um, the recipe for the all the paint I'm using I'm, I'm going to put in the description of this video because as I said I'm using different pouring mediums so I'm using American flood flow troll with the design colors but then I'm using um, Oa troll with the white base um, so let's get started Right, I'm all ready to start. My canvas is about a 60 by 40 centimetre, something like that. Um, I've just covered the base with my white, so I'm just going to burst the air bubbles. Now, I wanted to double check the consistency of these paints because um, I, just, I want to try and get the base colours um, to the base colour to be in as similar consistency as possible to the design colours. So I've just done a drip test. So I've put a single drip of each of each paint along the top here and then I've picked the piece of paper up and let them run. Now you can see very clearly that the dark green and the purple are runnier because the drip is a lot longer. Um, this is the white base so that was really quite thick and the silver's thick and the gold. So I've just then added a little bit more water to the white, the silver, I think a little bit more to that green and the gold 
um, just to try and get them all to a more similar consistency. So it's just a really good way of checking, com trying to compare the consistencies of the paints. Right, now the fun bit. So my design, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to do a Dutch pour and I'm going to do one um, similar to previous ones where I start in one corner and then I blow up and I'm going to do it in um, with three different swirls, three different um, lines of paint. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is just literally lay down one colour of each, or one colour on each of the lines just to get my rough shape because then I want to then look at the, the negative space um, and play around with that. So I'm going to do an S shape. No, maybe I might even just, no, I'm just going to do a curve and it's going to come up here. Another curve up here and then another curve down here. So let me just think this through again. So it starts here and it's going to end up there. That's going to be the central one. Okay, one there. One here. And one there. Right, that's the dark green. Now, that green has sunk straight away. Not too worried because I can still see it, so I've got the the outline. So now I need to decide what it is I want to do. I'm not really sure. I want to do something, but not sure. So I'm thinking about just adding a little bit of, do you know, I'm just actually not sure. What shall I do? I want it to be very subtle. I'm gonna add in between, so I'm looking just at the negative space. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Mm, the light violet and the silver, I think. And then I'm going to blow these parts out with my mouth to get a bit more control. Right, I actually really like that. Um, it's there, it's obvious, but it's subtle at the same time somehow. So I'm now gonna put the design colors down. Obviously, they are gonna then blow over the edges of these, these little um, wispy bits I've just put in. Now, the green has sunk, so I'm gonna add a little bit more green. Right, that's all the colours down. Air bubbles burst. So let's just get the hair dryer.
that did, definitely didn't go to plan. However, the colours are gorgeous. I think I've got quite a bit of work to do to try and save this. I'm not particularly happy. It just looks quite a jumble at the moment, quite a mess. I think the problem was my lines were so close together here, I didn't really know how to blow it out. And because of all the other colours, I didn't blow these out enough. I think I was a bit nervous of blowing it too much. I think the lines should have been further apart. Right, doesn't matter. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to just spend lots of time now blowing around, fiddling with this, seeing what I can create from, from this now. not happy at all do not like this at all so I'm just trying to work out what I can do to save it if you look at just this very very busy section in the corner I really like that so what I'm wondering is whether forget the traditional Dutch pore shape forget all the negative space what about if I try to create that amazing mass of colour everywhere so that would mean doing a bit more pouring, I think, in the whiter spaces, in the Dutch pour spaces. So my paints are out, why not? I'm, I, I'm, e I'm either going to do that or I'm going to scrape this. So let's just try and let's try and save it. So I'm just going to basically try and fill all of this space. So it's just going to be a mass of colour. <clears throat> right so that's the rest of the colour back down I'm going to blow from the outside inwards because obviously I did that here I blew from the outside in and that's the bit I like so let's do the same see what happens this will make or break Right, let's see. Doesn't look like this corner. There's still not enough paint on. Okay, I'm not giving up yet.
Right, you will be very pleased to know I've finished. <laughs> I've stopped. I've had enough. I need to go to bed. Right, so this is nothing like I set out um, to, to try and achieve. Um, and I don't know yet whether I like it or not. Um, there's bits of it I love, but there's also <laughs> bits of it that I don't like at all. Um, mostly the fact that there's no negative space. It's absolute chaos. I love the colours and some of the details, let me show you, are just amazing. Um, so as you can see, I just added purple flowers. I just decided to get rid of the Dutch pour feature. Let's have a purple flower feature. Um, the cells and the lacing on some of these flowers is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely just amazing. Look at this one. It's just gorgeous. So what I like about this painting is the such intense, deep colours. I love this um, permanent um, violet, deep violet colour from Amsterdam. I love it. It's just so rich. Look at the lacing on that. Absolutely love it. Um, it's slightly thin the paint I did actually add a bit more of the paint to thicken it up but I think because of that it sunk and that's what's created the lacing but also it's disappearing so for example there you've got it in the center but you could the lighter violets around the outside but you can't see that much of that darker violet anymore because it's it's really sinking um I decided to try and draw it together I'd add a few of the little twirly bits you can see them here um not sure what I think of that <laughs> Um, it's just adding more chaos to the chaos. But if you stand back, I just I just don't know. What do you think? I think I think it might work, but I can't get away from the fact that it's not what I wanted at all. Um, so just be really interesting. I'm glad I haven't scraped it. I'm glad I'm going to let it dry, see what it looks like. If I don't like it, what I might do is keep it for, um, I might, I don't know, paint something on the top or do a silhouette on top or something and just use this as the base because the colours are fab, absolutely fab. So, um, don't know. Watch this space. So I'll, I'll be back when it's dry. So here it is dry. Um, still got such mixed feelings about this painting. I do really like it, but I'm struggling with it because it's not as I wanted it to be. Um, but actually, there were some really good features about it, some really nice things. I'll, I'll take you in for a close-up to show you. Um, so the first thing to mention, the flowers, what I've done is actually painted with a paintbrush around the edge of these flowers because they weren't really defined enough for me. I wanted them to stand out more against the base. So every single one... I have just gone around the outside and just to define the edges. Um, I've also defined, I've gone over these little purple swirly bits as well, so that that hopefully is the standout feature of the painting. Um, so the details are beautiful, the lacing, the cells, absolutely gorgeous and I love the colours. I've got a little bit of brown in places but that does blend I think quite nicely with the gold that I've added um, so I don't think that's necessarily a problem and the fact that these are flowers so you've got the sort of the green backdrop with a bit of brown it all that's that's what you get with flowers and gardens um, so I, I am quite like that. Um, some just amazing little sections of cells and lacing so I've learnt so much from this painting. Um, the other thing I, I was going to mention is that the purple and the deep green, they're both um, transparent paints. So that does have an impact on how well they are going to show through at the end. So that might have been part of my problem with the, with the paint sinking a little bit and not showing through. Um, but what do you think? Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, do you like it? Do you not like it? There's a lot of work gone into this, um, but just because things kept going wrong, but I'm actually quite happy with the result. Um, do let me know what you think. Great, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care, everyone. Bye.